everyone, my name is Shikhar and I'll be talking about human to robot imitation in the wild. This is joint work with Abhinav Gupta and Deepak Pathak at CMU. Consider these cooking videos. Can we build robots that can learn these skills from watching humans? We aim to answer this question in our paper. Our work consists of learning directly from human videos in the real world without any training in simulation. The key idea is to obtain priors from human videos and then explore around those while improving the policy in an iterative manner. Our approach is able to scale to various different tasks in the wild. In fact, we performed 20 different day-to-day -day tasks that we found all around campus, as you can see here. Now, let us see how this approach actually works. Firstly, the robot watches videos of humans performing tasks like opening a fridge. From these videos, we can extract information about hand-object interactions as well as hand motion. We call these our human behavior priors. Using simple 3D computer vision techniques, we define a mapping function to the robot's end effector. The robot then executes these primitives in the real world. As you can see here, the robot is close, but it fails. Therefore, it needs practice in the real world. This is the repeat stage of our method. But given all of this repetition, the question is now, how can the robot actually improve? For this, we need to use the human video to guide the improvement. But consider these drawer opening videos. We can't really compare them well in feature or pixel space since there's a large embodiment gap. However, if we mask and inpaint the agents, we can in fact compare these videos. Thus, we build an agent agnostic cost function using human and robot inpainting methods. We use this agent agnostic cost function to efficiently improve the policy in the real world. The policy works with using two different submodules. Firstly, the task policy optimizes the agent agnostic distance between human and robot videos as shown in the blue box. However, in order to not be too close to the prior, we encourage the robot to discover new things using an exploration policy. This policy's goal is to maximize agent agnostic change since otherwise it will focus too much on the robot. The objective described here is to maximize visual change in the agent agnostic embedding space. We call our approach WORL or in the wild human imitating robot learning. To summarize, we first extract 3D human behavior priors. We project these to the robot's action space and then execute them in the real world. We use a change-based objective to perform exploration. And then we improve the policy using the agent agnostic cost function and our exploration metric. Now let's see an example of WORL in action. The input is the human video that you can see here. And now we show a time lapse of the robot's training procedure. Using our sampling based optimization approach within about 60 real world episodes or one to two hours of interaction, world can learn to solve the task pretty well. In fact, we can see that even within a couple of iterations, world improves drastically. We use the same sampling based optimization strategy to maximize both exploration and task policy objectives. Now let's see some results of world applied to many different settings. As I mentioned earlier, we performed 20 different manipulation tasks in the wild. Videos of all, all of these are available on our website and we have shown a subset here. In each of these, the robot only gets a single human video as input, and then we run world for about one to two hours. Note that the camera angle between the human and the robot video don't actually have to be the same. And similarly, the starting position of the robot doesn't have to be the same as that of the human. We performed thorough real-world comparisons between world and many different state-of-the-art baselines 
and see that all the components of our approach, for example, the iterative improvement, the agent agnostic cost function, and the exploration policy are important. From the plots, we can see that success definitely improves with more interactions in the real world. Thanks for watching this presentation. For more information, we encourage you to visit our website as well as our paper.